Welcome back everybody. So we are currently looking at a little bit of a concrete factory that I set up here with a couple of uh, normal nodes I got. Uh, this is producing about 120 concrete a minute, which is the main thing that we're struggling with right now. So this is set up just to kind of run. We did end up getting that coal hooked up to our main factory over here. Uh, why is that thing just sprinting? What did you get into? I don't know. Whatever. Don't worry about the beat. We're going to move on for that. So in this video, we're going to be setting up the basic stuff that we're going to need to uh, make a really, really awesome coal plant. Uh, we're going to start off by heading over there and getting some things set up. And uh, after we get that going, we will move on to some more steps. We're back over here at our coal generators here. Um, the problem right now is we only have four of these hooked up. And it's only making about roughly 300 power, which is not enough, especially because... Well, we have a higher capacity, but our max consumption is over 300, which is not good. It's not a good place to be. So we're going to hook up these other four generators here. That should get up to 600, and that should be enough to cover most of what we're going to be doing in this video. Um, we're going to try to unlock as much as the MAM as we can, and then hopefully I'm going to set up uh, everything with a resource sink to where we can get some uh, little tokens, and we can unlock a lot of the stuff that we need to build a much cooler base than what we got going on here with this platform. So that's the plan. I'm going to go down here and set this up, and I'll give you an update here in a second. I spent last week on coal production, so I'm not going to spend too much time going very into depth with it uh, this week. Uh, if you want to check out that video, uh, I'll link it in the description, or I'll do a little thing in the top right corner, either one. Uh, but I got all this hooked up. We're now up to 600 power, which is great. Uh, there's more stuff we can do here, but we're going to be focusing on the MAM stuff and unlocking Caterium and the crystals and all that today. So as long as this is running good, we're going to move on to our next step, which is going to figure out where we can get that stuff run. So I'm going to do a quick little jump. We made it back to our factory here. Uh, that was like a little quick three second thing for you. For me, it was like a 10 minute run all the way from way over there to here. Uh, we did get back though, and we're going to check out the man, which we're going to be doing today. I do have this hard drive, which we're going to be putting in here in a second, but we need to check out what we need to do for this Caterium stuff because that's where we're going to be starting. I do have the first little bit unlocked, so I can scan for it, and I got an idea of where we're going. So we're going to head over there and try to unlock as much as is possible. We're also going to be doing the quartz, which will be all of our crystals and everything as well. So we're going to put this in there right now before we do anything else, just because I have the stuff on me. And this should give us the option to actually go out and figure out where they're at, because the main thing I want is this. Uh, I don't know how much more of this game I can play without Blade Runners. It's it's driving me absolutely insane, and I really, really want it. Uh, so we're going to move to this Caterium stuff, and we're going to figure out the quartz as we go. I was just running all the way over here to this Caterium, and uh, I ended up finding a hard drive, which is really, really good. I hope I can open it. Uh, let's go down here real quick. All right, so it's just some modular frames, which I don't have with me, but I'm probably just going to handcraft them real fast just so I can get this hard drive out of here uh, and get another chance at an alternate recipe. I will grab this real quick, and we're going to toss that in the man once we get set up where we're going. After running really, really far, I ended up uh, making it to this pure Caterium uh, node here, which is where we're going to be most of what we're doing today. i uh, just getting all this hooked up and trying to unlock stuff on the MAM. Uh, there is a wreck over here, which I'm going to go try to figure out if I can get or not. It's probably something stupid because I'm a little bit outside of kind of the easy zone of the game uh, being as far over here as I am. But it's all good. We're going to do this, and uh, I'll be back here in a second once I get things set up. All right, so we did actually get some of this foundation set up with the miner here. Uh, I went across there, and I was able to get a second hard drive, which is really, really good. But the reason why I'm giving you a little update here is because our first hard drive is done. So let's see what we got over here. Uh, this is great, but it's a refinery, so we're not going to be able to use that. Uh, it's kind of amazing that we got that right now. Uh, bolted frame with screws instead of rods uh, is good, but it uh, adds another step to it. Because without the recipe to get straight screws, you're adding a whole lot of uh, constructors into the bit to get all those screws, which is really not all that good. Uh, this is a great recipe. We actually did a video on this. Uh, we turned like 600 copper ore into uh, 1,800 uh, ingots per minute, which is a really good recipe. But both of these we can't use for a very long time. So unfortunately, we're probably going to skip these and have to take the bolted frame, which is a bit disheartening because it's not the best one you could be getting right now. But we're going to take it and put our next hard drive in here and keep moving on with the video. I uh, I just set this up real fast. I'm just kind of trying to bust through it and... Um, I don't even have the Caterium Ega recipe, which means I gotta grab all this off the line and just handcraft it here for a second because I can't even do that yet. Oh boy. Okay, so you remember like 10 seconds ago when I was like, oh, I gotta handcraft all this stuff. Uh, no, I don't. I have to do it in the MAM. But the problem is, I don't wait for this to get done. So I've literally been sitting here uh, watching this uh, do all of its stuff before I can finally do this little three second uh, stuff. Anyway, so uh, looking at this uh, fine concrete, that 
would be kind of okay. It requires crystals, so I have to find somewhere, or sorry, quartz, so I have to find somewhere for that. Uh, we've already talked about this one. This is just a different version, a slightly worse version. This goes to straight to copper sheets, which is a refinery. I can't use that. Um, we're probably going to stick with this rotor. This is a much better rotor recipe just because it's way faster, and it takes some of the iron out of it. So we're probably going to take this. Um, those are not the best ones, I'll be honest with you. But we're going to make it work, and we're going to do what we can. But anyway, now that we have that out of the way, that means we can do this little three-second research thing that I just threw away all my stuff for because I was getting frustrated. We'll take this, and we'll send it off in the man. And this should allow us to start working on our next steps. It's going to be getting enough of these ingots to unlock this stuff here uh, and kind of go from there. So we're going to do all that. Give me a second, and I'll be right back. So after a couple of minutes of letting this run, we did get enough ingots to finish off this recipe. We'll put this in here. It's going to lock quick wire. It's going to be really, really important here, and it's going to lock our next steps as well. Uh, this is just quick wire, and then we got the zipline stuff here. So we'll get all this stuff done. Uh, it shouldn't really not take me all that long. I just got to set up some of this. Uh, I believe, though, at 120, that all of these become a 10 split, which is going to be a problem because it's 12 per minute. So I need 10 of these. Which is going to be really kind of a huge pain in the ass, but uh, I'm going to get it done. Okay, I'm going to do it for you guys. Oh, let me set all this up real quick. Alright, so we ran that just for a little bit, enough to get this uh, electronic stuff unlocked. And this should give us the power poles, which is really the main thing I'm trying to do this for. Yeah, this right here, this is what we need. So we're going to get a couple of these going, and we're going to keep working on setting everything up. I did do a little bit different uh, than what I said I was going to do. I don't want to deal with the 10 split. So I'm going to make it a 12 by uh, underclocking this to 50 per minute, which is 83 remaining, or repeating, and that gives us a 10 per minute. So then 120 goes into 12, which is a 12 is going to be a lot easier than a 10. So we're going to set it up like that if I have enough room, and I'm going to keep working on that as this is making stuff in the background over here. So it has been so long since I've done this, and I'm just assuming that I know the stuff that I don't know. So this is apparently 45 per minute, which means... I've got all these numbers wrong because this is not right because that's 120 and this is definitely not 120 right here so i don't even know how many of these instructors i need i gotta redo all my math i am really not here today oh boy so i redid the numbers and the way i fixed it was i just brought these all down to 10 per minute which is uh 66 percent uh, that makes it a lot easier. Uh, the numbers are easier. Everything just gets a lot easier along the board because this now becomes each of these are 10 Which is exactly what they're set up to before so they're pretty much a one-to-one -one. So you have smelter to constructor and then that's the end product at 50 per minute So this is making 200 of the quick wire per minute, which is really really good So we're gonna let this run for a little bit You don't have to finish off these power poles and then see what else we can get done uh, I may be able to do the Blade Runners, or not the Blade Runners, the zipline right now. That's the wrong tab. Yeah, I can send this off, get this done, and then in a little while we'll get the power poles done as well. So I was building all this, and uh, what I need to do is set up a resource sink over here, because this is pretty much going to run constantly, and it's going to fill up very quickly, and then I won't be over here to actually do anything with it, because it's pretty far off from where I'm at, and I'm really far from getting hyper tubes as of right now, so I don't think... It's not easy to get over here, and when I do come over here, I'm just going to be grabbing a bunch of stuff and leaving, and then it's going to be left in the background. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm setting up like a, a bypass uh, overflow line with just the regular splitters. So the way it's going to work is um, it's just set up with these splitters right here to go into here for right now, and then that'll fill up, and then I'm going to put these off to resource sink, and it pretty much cuts us down into half. And what'll end up happening is eventually this will back up and get completely full at 50 per minute, which is less than what I'm actually getting, but at 50 per minute, it'll eventually get full, and then it can't go that way, and it will force it to go this way, which is not the best way to split it. You need the AI limiters for the overflow, which I'm going to try to unlock in this episode, but I don't know what's actually going to be required of it. Um, I feel like it's just circuit boards and uh, this stuff here. Well, I have to get the AI limiter, which I can't unlock this. I just need the copper sheets, and then I can see what this is exactly. Oh, no, I should be able to get that. Okay, so I can unlock that stuff. I just got to get all of it set up, which means I need to go get the copper stuff. And I'm probably going to do that towards the end of this video because I need to finish off this first and then go over there and do all that. Because I'm not going to I'm not gonna run back to the base and then come back over here because I am very, very far from all this. Like, 
It really doesn't seem like it's that far, but when you're running and you don't even have blade runners, it's 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 really, really far. Like it, it's almost as far as this stuff is over here, my coal plant. So it's it's a good distance for sure. Um, that's enough of me rambling. I'm going to get back to work and I'll give you an update here in a little bit. All right, so I did get enough of this to send off this little thing here. So we'll get rid of that. This will unlock our Power Pool Mark IIs, which are going to be phenomenal because I am so sick of trying to do with these Mark Ones. These things are terrible. Now we got this, and this has eight connectors, or should be seven. Yep. This is pretty much primarily what I use for all my stuff until like way late game when I'm setting up a bunch of stuff. So this is a really, really good feeling to finally have these back. Uh, we're going to keep moving forward, though. All right, so we've been letting this run for quite a bit of time. I got uh, all of my quick wire here. It's plenty enough to get me started. It'll at least replace a lot of the stuff I have over there. I hooked up my resource sinks, and we are getting quite a bit of uh, coupons, which is really, really good. Uh, so we're going to let this run for a little while longer, and then hopefully towards the end of this video, we can actually set up our resource uh, store over there, our awesome uh, store, awesome shop, this thing, and uh, start picking out some nice, cool, decorative options for what we're going to be doing. Uh, so we're actually going to leave this here for now, and we're going to head back to our main base over there and look to get some of this other stuff done. All right, so while we're running back, we ended up finding another hard drive here, so let's see what they're able to give us. Uh, this fine concrete is probably something we're not going to do because that requires crystal. I think we talked about that. We did a video on this one in our uh, last season that was really, really helpful, but this is going to be way later on the game before we really need that. This stitched iron plate uh, splits up the cost of the copper and iron, which is going to be probably the best option. It's got a weird output, but I really don't care too much about that. So we're probably going to take this and move on with our life because that's, uh, that's a pretty good recipe. Uh, so now what we're going to be doing to finish off the video is I think we still have about 10 minutes here. We're going to try to figure out where we can get some quartz from, which is going to be a little bit difficult. because I'm pretty sure it is nowhere around here. There's nothing over this side. It's like 2,000 meters that way, and I don't know what's on this side. There hopefully is something that we can get started over there. Uh, and we're going to get that in hopes to get the Blade Runners going because I don't know how much longer I can play without them. I really, really miss them, and I want them so bad. Yeah, that's so far. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to take a second and plan out some stuff and figure out how I want to handle the situation, and I will be back in a minute. All right, so even with how far that quartz is, we're still going to manage to go over there and get that because, honestly, I really, really need Blade Runners, and I don't know how much more of this game I can play without them. Uh, plus, there's this, which is the inflated pocket dimension, which is going to help us out a lot, getting six more inventory spaces. So we're going to go over there and wire uh, pipe our little poles all the way out there just so we can run this for a little bit and get some silica set up because I really, really want my blade runners. So I'm going to work on that. It's going to involve me heading down this way, pretty much all the way over there on the other side of those rocks where we need to go to. So it's probably going to take me at least 15 minutes, and I'll be back in a couple seconds for you guys. I, I really don't have any interest in doing this shit right now. I'll be honest with you guys. Ah, oh, man. I I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Again? Bro, I'm getting real sick and tired of this shit. All right, so I made it all the way up here, and this took me quite a bit of time. I mean, I had to... You're not going to be able to judge really the distance, but I had to run all the way down here and go this way and loop all the way around this big rock instead of going right over it. And it turns out this is directly underneath the, the red biome, which means that this is a really dangerous place, and there's a lot of really mean things running around here. Uh, I kept seeing those spider things, and they really, really bothered me. But you know what? We're over here, and we're okay, and we got through it, and now we're going to get our uh, our uh, little jump boots. And we're going to move on with our lives and never come back here. So we're working on this over here. We got a little bit of a setup in the background, but what I'm trying to do right now is unlock these smart splitters so I can do my overflow lines and make everything work a lot better over here as opposed to doing what I was doing before. Um, and I, I might I may take the time to run back over there and grab a bunch of that uh, quick wire and set up the proper overflow uh, splitters, but uh, right now we're working on this, and that's really, really far away, and I'm not too worried about it right now. Uh, we set this up with one of these uh, nodes here uh, running uh, silica. I downgraded it to 25 per minute to get a nice even 15 to make it easy on me. Uh, and this is making four of these is 100 per minute, which is pretty decent, actually. So uh, we're going to set this one up, and then we're going to go up here and turn this one into the uh, the crystal, the little, little plastic box things. Um, I, I'll show you that in a second. We can work on this. All right, so we did finish this. Uh, we got all of our merger lines hooked up. They're going to take a second to get caught up, but uh, this is all good. We set up our first smart splitter, which is awesome news, and we set it up correct uh, orientation. So we have... 
Uh, all this is going to fill up with silica, and then once this is full, it'll start setting stuff off this way. So that's great. Uh, now we're going to go over here and set up the crystal on this side. All right, this was really easy to place down, so we got this all hooked up as well. It was just two constructors. Uh, I went down to 80% to get 30, just so I didn't have any weird numbers to try to fix all this. So this is set up right, and this should be filling this box up a little slower than the other one, but that's okay. We're going to go check on how much silica we have, and we should be able to... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's fast. All right, so let's take some of this. We should be have enough now to finish off these last couple uh, things that we got. So we got our Blade Runners here. Let's get rid of that. And then last but not least, we have our inventory slots is what I was waiting for. Uh, we're going to sit over here for a second and unlock the Crystal Oscillators as well. So we're going to just wait for these quartz to get built up. I'm not going to worry about any of the rebar or anything because I'm not even building that thing yet. So honestly, it's not too big of a deal to me. I'll see what this unlocks. I don't think I'll be able to do any of this down here because I'm pretty sure all this requires uh, the crystal oscillators. I am curious, so I would like to see if there's any iron around this area. Because if there is something nearby, we have the potential to make crystal oscillators here, which would be a really, really good thing for me. So... Oh yeah, no, no, they're terribly far. All right, so this is a this is a spot for it. And that's okay. We'll figure it out later on. All right, so I got enough uh, crystal quartz now, so we're gonna unlock this uh, crystal oscillator, which I don't know what I'm gonna be doing with for now because I really don't have any good places to be building this quite yet. It's probably going to involve a lot of highway stuff, which is a couple of videos from now, and maybe I might run a truck all the way up here, but I'm not sure exactly. So. Right now, we're going to put that in the maybe pile and figure that out a little bit later. I am going to collect a bunch of the silica and bring it back, though, because I don't want to have to come back here. Kind of similar to the quick wire stuff that we did. Um, I have the inventory slots to grab this and take it back now. So that's what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be a little while of me sitting here doing about nothing. And then I will be back at our base before you know it. All right, so while we're waiting around here, uh, I figured I'd do a little bit of shopping and try to get this awesome shop stuff figured out. So we're going to go ahead and take uh, these printable coupons out here. And then we're going to check out this shop and see what we can get. Because I've already checked it out. There's a lot of really good stuff in here that uh, it's going to be really, really important that if you've watched Season 1, you know I'd love to use. Uh, like, for example, the conveyor wall mounts are good. The lift holes will be really, really helpful. Um, wall outlets are good, but not crazy important right now. I would like to get all these eventually, but I'm not really using a bunch of these. Maybe the house half foundation would be good. Uh, the windows is what I've really been waiting on, so I'm probably going to grab those. Uh, over here in the architecture, we're probably going to grab the roof stuff that we need. Railings, I love railings. Uh, then the main thing that I really want is these concrete floors, because if I switch these concrete stuff, I can completely negate the need for the iron plates, and I can carry less stuff around whenever I'm building. So I want to buy a couple things. I'll let you know what I decide on here in a second, just so I can kind of look through without having to talk over myself, and I will be back in just a minute. So I put most of the stuff that I just talked about in here, but um, honestly, I need more than that. I, I'm not going to settle for just that. So I'm going to figure out how to get some more of these uh, coupons real quick. I think I'm just going to end up turning a lot of this stuff I have into the uh, protein and just forcing it in there. Uh, this uh, animal DNA capsule, this stuff. I got a lot of these uh, little parts, a lot of these little uh, animal drop things here and i'm gonna force into these capsules and i'll throw them in there and i hopefully should be able to unlock a lot of the stuff that i'm gonna need to start building some pretty cool factories here so i was able to squeeze about 10 more coupons out and uh i got some more stuff the uh, main thing i got was these glass roofs which is what i needed to uh finish off my factory back at home so we're probably going to get all this stuff collect our silica and then run back over there and the last couple minutes of this video is going to be me fixing up that factory making it look a lot better all right so we finally made it back it was such a long run. All right, so I'm looking at this, and I need these cap pieces, which I completely forgot to grab. So this isn't going to look perfect yet, but it's going to look a lot better. We're going to go ahead and tear all this out and start placing our windows, and then we're going to see how all that looks. I'm not going to lie, this looks a little weird. And maybe it's going to look better from, like, back there, but it kind of reminds me of, like, the old Wendy's, if you know what I'm talking about. I, I don't know why. Let me go down here, and I'll put the windows on the front of it, and we'll get a kind of a... A, a far away look and see how it looks it looks really flat i mean i understand it's the first factory and you gotta start somewhere but it, it looks really flat and i definitely got to make some adjustments to this thing to make it look a little bit better because i don't really like how it looks quite frankly definitely need some more shape to it let me uh let me take a step back though and i'll, I'll take a good look at it and we'll see how how we feel it um uh, yeah i mean it's uh it's better it is better I'm gonna like that. I'm not gonna lie. It, it does. It does look a little bit better. 
Um, I need to finish off the cap pieces, obviously, and kind of work on the sides a little bit, but I think this just needs some extra shape. Uh, if I add some stuff out to the front here, maybe like some statues and stuff, and then over here, uh, my plan is, sorry, this is kind of not the best zoom, is to kind of do a little diagonal crosswalk from like maybe the second level there over to here across this little uh, valley here and then i'm going to build all this up and i got a cool design for what i'm going to do over here i just haven't got around to redoing all this because i've been using this just to get started so where we're at and kind of our plans for the rest of the next couple episodes what we're going to be doing is uh we're going to take the stuff that we have now which is the 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 mark ii power lines which is really 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 important and we're going to go over there and we're going to build an absurd amount of power and we're going to try to make a really cool looking power station. And I got an idea in my head of what I want to do. Um, and I should be able to do it. It's just a matter of setting everything up and trying to get all that to work. Um, it should be all good over there. So once I hook all that up and get everything going, that'll be our next episode. And then after that, we're going to start really knocking some stuff out. Uh, we're going to do our steel, which is going to be over here where there's some coal nodes, I think, are on this side. Uh, we're going to get our steel set up, which would be huge. And then from there, we're going to move on to our highway, which is going to be the little tractor stuff. It's not going to be great. But it should allow us to connect a lot of the nodes around here and we're going to open the whole map up and kind of try to consume this whole biome uh, from there we're going to be doing overclocking and just a bunch of stuff down the road so we're finally getting through a lot of the basic stuff and we're starting to get some of the cooler things now which is really really important and the whole series is going to open wide up so uh, if you guys are liking the series make sure you like and comment down below tell me that you're enjoying it because uh, as of right now the the, the channel itself is kind of getting to a little of a low point um that's my fault i took most of december off and uh, a lot of the viewership died down that's okay we'll get it back you know just tell your friends about it make sure you like so this video can be moved on to other people and they can potentially find this series um all that being said guys i just want to thank you very much uh, remember if you hit your like goal at 15 by friday night i will post a bonus video saturday which was going to be doing all the cool stuff so if you want to see a really cool factory just you know communicate and give give back to me and just tell me that uh tell me that you like it and that's that's all i need to know that you enjoy uh what i'm doing so all that being said guys enjoy your weekend i will see you soon